Yeah, I'll react to that, sure. Uh, I was going to start off with a bit of advice. I'm not really very good at giving out advice. Um, I give an example. Uh, one sec, guys. It is uh, past midnight here, but I am wide awake and feel like doing a comedy video. So, what we're doing? How? Uh, I, you cannot see me. One sec. Kind of dark. Can I? Is this fine? Um, contrast. Uh, all right, it, it's late. All right, let's just, let's go. Hope you guys are doing well. The original link to the video, top of the description. Below that link to the Discord, love to have you. Let's go. Yeah, Sarah McMillan. Oh, I was in a supermarket. And I, saw, jokes. Uh, I was going to start off with a bit of advice. I'm not really very good at giving out advice. I give an example of how. I was in a supermarket and I saw this young couple wandering round and the girl said to her boyfriend, have we got everything? And he said, I think so. And I looked in their basket and all they had was a bottle of rosé and a cucumber. <laughs> and I just thought, there's no way they've got everything else they need in for a salad. <laughs> and what I should have said is, lube, love. <laughs> That's what you need, lube. <laughs> She's got to learn the hard way. A cucumber and a what? So there's no cucumber. And all they had was a bottle of rosé and a cucumber in the hard way. Sorry. Lube. But I didn't. <laughs> She's got to learn the hard way. And I do sometimes struggle with sleeping as well. Just occasionally I have the odd bout of insomnia and I thought maybe I'll buy a CD and get these CDs, can't you, that have got soothing sounds and music on. I thought maybe I'll get one of those that might help us drift off. Thunderstorm uh, ambience. To sleep. I noticed Paul McKenna has got a CD out, hasn't he? I can make you sleep. He's a very confident man, Paul McKenna, isn't he? It's not, I'll give it a bash. <laughs> I can make you sleep. He's also got I can make uh, you thin, which I had thought about getting because it sounded like a challenge uh, for him. <laughs> I can make you thin. Can you, can you, Paul? <laughs> Bring it on, motherfucker. I'm so stupid, but he's guys. Also got, I can make you can you, Paul? <laughs> My dumb or is that a, a I didn't get explain please. <laughs> uh, but he's also got I can make you rich and I thought I wonder if that's his happiness box set. Thin, rich, sleep, done. <laughs> when I first started going out with my boyfriend, I was living in a flat where the boiler was broken and it was freezing and he sent me a text and the text said if I was there, I would make you warm, I would make you come, and I would make you breakfast. And I thought, now that's a fucking box set, isn't it? <laughs> I'm not suggesting that that should be Paul McKenna's next box set. <laughs> I can make you come. <laughs> can you, can you, Paul? <laughs> okay, you just said he's good, he's good. I thought I was giving up smoking. <laughs> I hate not getting it. But I am quite practical, I'm quite logical. In some ways I've got quite a male brain, and then in other ways I'm quite girly and quite feminine, quite emotional. I think. To be honest, I think I'm a bit of a mishmash of the genders. Uh, I mean, like, in a personality way. I don't mean, like, I've got Lesbian? a bit of a novel I can't explain. <laughs> Does yours look like that? <laughs> My friend invited me around for tea. She said, come round to mine, I'm going to cook all your favourite food. That's what a lovely thing to do for somebody. So, of course, I went. A couple of hours later, I was sitting on the sofa, putting the world to rights, and she blurted out, just out of nowhere, she blurted out, I don't think my lady parts look like other girls' lady parts. <laughs> what the fuck am I supposed to do with that? That's why. I realised the whole night had been a ploy. <laughs> Favourite foods by us. Come and look at me, Fanny. <laughs> so I'm not looking at it. I'm not friend. looking at it. But if you're drawing on a bit of paper, <laughs> I'll have a look at that. So she drew it on a bit of paper and I drew mine as well and we compared them. And they were very similar. So she's much happier. She said mine was tidier. I don't really know what that means. But I know I definitely don't want to look at hers now that I know that it's messy. <laughs> but it could have been worse than drawing in a bit of paper. I could have just put some paint on and done a potato print. <laughs> I'm so I'm so but I'm sorry, but I'm angry. But it could have been worse than drawing in a bit of paper. 
paper. Could you just put some paint on it, Jenny? Potato print? Like a, uh, a baked, an opened baked potato? I'm, uh, I hate when I don't get shirts. It, it drives me crazy. Sometimes we wouldn't even need the paint. Oh! Close to just stop, like, not upload this, because I haven't gotten a single joke, but we're going through. Please help me out, guys, in the comments. <laughs> mm. I, uh, I tend not to say my friends of an evening, because I work most nights, so I say my friends, I, we go out for lunch, and I really like it. I like going out for lunch with my friends. Went out with one of my friends, she's lovely, which is a bit of a mourner. Went out for a perfectly nice meal, she complained about the food, so we had to send the food back, and I made some hilarious remark about how the chef's now going to go and wank in a soup. <laughs> she came out with the best answer ever. She just went, oh, good. I haven't had sex in ages. <laughs> and I thought, surely she doesn't think that merely ingesting spunk <laughs> is the same as having actual sex. If only it was that straightforward. You know, when you can't really be bothered, just bung it in a smoothie. I'll have it later on. <laughs> I get it. Give me one of me five a day. <laughs> Give me one of me five a day. <laughs> but I don't worry anymore about the fact that I can't really see me funny. Fannies. I've got some cock stuff later on, you'll fucking love that. Cox to fleet. A fan of fannies. I've got some cock stuff later on, you'll fucking love that. Oh, wait, later. <laughs> I don't need to say me fanny anymore anyway, because I've got people for that now. Person. People say it's bad, doesn't it? <laughs> well, it's two. It's a job, Shay. <laughs> I can't see me funny because me belly, but I can't see me belly because me tits. Hooray! <laughs> as long as they stay, I'm all right. If they go, I'm fucked. <laughs> well, probably less so. <laughs> um, I'm so grateful for you all to come tonight. Thank you very much for coming. I'm going to leave you on a story. Um, me and my fella don't really get nights off together very often, so when we do, we try to make the most of it. And uh, went out, and we call them like a date night. Went out on a date night recently, had a curry, lovely curry, got in, put a DVD on, everything going really well. Half oh. of the film started to get a little bit amorous, a little bit frisky, Ooh. which I suppose is one of the points of the date night. Seemingly, we'd forgotten that two hours before that, we'd had a curry. <laughs> Nevertheless, he went downstairs. Um, <laughs> Dumping for a glass of water. <laughs> Bins is trash. I understand. Fancy, uh, do fancy doing the bins later on. <laughs> it doesn't work, does it? No. So he went, no pairs. Uh, do you know what I do like that as well, like in that little stupid no voice? Pairs. No pairs. That's not how I ask him for it, by the way. No pairs. You won't no pay later on. <laughs> Will it do the bin? So he was. Okay. And there's no nice way of saying this to you lovely people, but I could feel a fart brewing. <laughs> Nobody knows. So, I'll give a personal story about that. So, I have been down there, and that has happened. I don't know if it was from the front or the back, but, uh... Vietnam flashbacks. What to do, do they? There's no plan of action for this. So what I did, and I don't really know I did this. Certainly don't know why I'm telling you lot. Similar to in the film Rain Man, 
I started going, uh-oh. <laughs> He was embarrassed, but I carried on. Well, we've clearly not got the hang of the whole seduction thing. I think that's fairly evident from what I've told you so far, isn't it? But I walked in on him the other day, and he was lying on the bed just in his pants, because you know how men think that's attractive. <laughs> and he had one bollock hanging out. And I thought, I'm going to have to pull him on it. Uh, no. Uh, question him on it. Not pull I'd seen this clip before in a longer Sarah Milliken reaction. <laughs> I laughed much harder the first time. If only they made that noise. If they made that noise, I'd never leave the little buggers alone. I'd squeeze them. I said, do you know that you've got to... It's just, be softer. I'm sorry, I'm in a mood. I like hanging out. He said, yes, I do. I put it out especially for you. Cameraman. such a joy. Thank you so much for coming out tonight. I've been Sarah Milliken. Thank you very much. Good night. Love you, Sarah. All right, guys, I'm going to get right into a different video, a non comedy video, but love that. She's hilarious. Love you guys. I, I didn't understand 75% of those jokes. You guys are good at helping me with that. I know it can be annoying when I have no reaction because I don't get it. Believe me, it makes me feel dumb. All right, but you guys are great at, uh, and I see you guys a lot in the comments being like, oh, Connor, you're so down on yourself all the time, like, like, uh, calling yourself dumb, stupid, like, I hope you don't have self-esteem, probably, whatever it is. I promise you guys, I, I, I don't, I, I, I'm, 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 it's not that way. That's come just kind of like my, so I appreciate it all, but I'm fine, okay? I, I have, uh. Anyways, love y'all. Hope you're all doing well. I would uh, put my... Okay, it's late. Love y'all. See you guys next time. We love with you. Liked and subscribed. And hopefully I'll see you next video. Bye, guys.